Hello, my name is Eric White, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to take care of some sticky keyboard uh, keys. Uh, let's say you were doing a no-no and eating in front of your laptop, and you got some crumbs or something sticky down inside there, and now the key sticks, and you, you can't get it unstuck, and you don't know what to do. Well, it's not, not, not so bad a thing as you might think. Here I have this laptop here. And first thing I'm going to do is, uh, let's say the K key, uh, while well, it's kind of sticking, I'm going to take kind of take a look at it and, and, and see, all right, do I see any gooiness? Did I spill some soda into it? Uh, no. Well, I'm going to take some compressed air with uh, the straw in here and just direct the air down in between the keys. Now, if you angle down, you can press this tube right underneath the key like so. You don't want to force it. Just kind of ease it in just enough so that you can get airflow. And then you're just going to give it a little pop, you know, don't, don't go crazy. And then go to the opposite corner, give it a blow, there we go. What you want to do is just hit it from all angles and see if you can loosen it up. Um, chances are you're going to get whatever it is that's sticking it out that way. Now, if you got some soda or something in there, you could try a Q-tip with a little bit of alcohol on it. Um, by no means would you ever pour any kind of liquid, alcohol or otherwise, directly on the keyboard. Uh, you can take a, a Q-tip and try and work around, press the key all the way down and, and clean around the edges, maybe lift the edge of the key up and clean in there. Some keyboards you can pop the key out and then pop it back in. Um, with laptops, that's not so much the case. Uh, a lot of laptop keyboards aren't designed to be disassembled that way. Uh, and you may end up breaking it uh, by trying to pull that key off. If you can't get it clean with a, with a compressed air or your Q-tip with a little bit of alcohol on it, you're going to want to take it to a re repair shop and, and have them have somebody who knows how to take these keyboards apart take care of that for you.